hello it's mine your character with both of you with Shola Obasa and I'm here again to add value to you and I can say on radio this is the radio show that never ever leaves you the same way and by that I mean that I always leave you better than I met you so even on this channel mind your character on YouTube I make the same promise to you that I always leave you better than I met you and by that I mean that I always add value to you thank you so very much for choosing to visit don't forget to please click the subscribe button below here like share comment I am waiting to hear from you and to be a part of whatsoever it is you would want me to be a part of that concerns you i'm all about adding value to you so much for trying to introduce myself and what i do to you we started a series that concluded and i took the other flip side of it talking to you about other currencies that work pays you in work pays like everyone knows in financial currencies and that could include so much in fact i can read out from my 14-year adventure in a well-established organization media organization i can tell you on the tip of my fingers some of the beautiful mouth-watering financial benefits that financial uh, cor uh okay let me see there's not like financial currency so i can actually tell you about the current other currencies that work pays you in. That's around finance and economic, economical uh, currency. So, all kinds such as salaries and emoluments, allowances, whether car allowance, house allowance, travel allowance, medical allowance, um, transport allowance, productivity allowance. So many allowances that allow you and allow you like that. Apart from that, work. Under economic and financial currency, now, today I decided to start from the one you are used to and I'm expanding it just in case you have a well-established, work in a well-established organization that gives you so much benefit. So you can have your salary, which is basic, having inside of it your other aspects. You know, there's, there's the basic that come, uh, there is um, transport, there is housing. So the gross amount of your salary let's call it let's call that salary okay and after that still under financial currency that work pays in so today we are moving from the known to the unknown i can also say that apart from allowances that i just listed out you could also get bonuses yes you know bonuses now uh -huh. when something has worked well extremely for the organization and they decide that let's be a bonus or blah 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 to everyone on the team mm -hmm. and even for bonuses most of the time it is not across board it's not the same across board so maybe the junior staff get this percent the senior staff get this percent the middle line managers or whatever get this percent the like that like that like that you can read it okay so then under still under economic or financial currency that work pays in you can have 13 month salary mm -hmm. which always helps workers talking from experience so which of workers take care of the generally extra length you know people say that generally is longer i don't know i can't tell for certain whether drawing is longer but in there's this mindset that generally can be longer so 13 month salary most times shows up to take care of that all right Another way that work pays you in financial economic terms is pension. So, whilst you work, personally, I work for 14 years as an employee. And so that means that for those 14 years, I have my pension with the pension administrator. Okay? Remitted by my organization, I know for the contributory pension, your own money, 7.5, the employer 7.5 i don't know if anything has changed I'm not aware but that means that amount goes into keeps by the administrator or custodian of your pension waiting for you 
when you get, I don't want to, I don't want to go into when you are due to start receiving it. But you see, that's another way that work pays you financially or helps your economy be better as a person. Another way is access to company or cooperative society loan. On one of, in one of the editions that treated earlier when I was talking about pay packet management, I did mention that this is one of the opportunities that you get on a work platform. I remember those days, apart from cooperative, because we just were looking for how to make our money count, which was beautiful. So some staff members came around and said, let's pull 100,000 naira each together from each person's salary. And we were saying, hello, do you know how much that is when each one gets? So like every month, everybody pulls 100, 10 of us pull 100,000 and then you go home with whatever the amount is to go and do whatever project that you have. It's another way that work pays you. If you weren't in a workplace or an establishment that helps you do that, you will be missing out on that. I hope you understand why I say it's a way, it's a currency that work pays in. And then you cannot impress. That's for your upkeep or stipends that take care of certain upkeep that has to do with you, depending on what your organization has. And then there can be commission on extra things that you do for the organization. Like I know pertinence, for instance, apart from being a star, pertinence limited, one of our clients, apart from having your salary paid, it is legal in pertinence limited for you to sell land or any other financial uh, brand that they may have and then get commission. And I tell you, most of the time, the guys out there get multiple folds of what they earn as salary as commission. So, work surely has got so much. So, but you see, even if you get all of this in one pack, in one job together, you are still shortchanging yourself if financial reward is the only thing that you have stood for. Game of working has been held. And we've talked about so much. I've also told you the keys in which work pays. And today I'm helping you to see the different kind of currencies that it also pays you in. I'm hoping that you not settle for financial alone, but you let it transit into much more because there's more to you. All of these, except for pension, will stop the moment you stop working in that place. I hope you're following the thread of my sense. And then working on your mindset is just crucial then. So there are other ways, other currencies that work pays in. And what also pays you is social currency. Yeah. So what is that one? Hmm. Social currency refers to that aspect of your life that has to do with people. So it has a way of helping your status. I remember when I was going to leave my organization, one of my bosses was encouraging me and saying, okay, have you thought of it very well? Are you sure that you want to leave? You know your children are already used to a certain lifestyle by the virtue of whatever you earn with your husband. Are you sure they'll be good with the period you need for something else to happen? He was looking out for me and I really do appreciate it. And I had my answers already, but I can't pick the wisdom in what, in what he's saying. Because the workplace where you are paid regular salaries, I'm not talking about those who make people work and then owe them. That is demeaning, that is killing. But you see, I'm talking about places where you work and you're sure that you'll be paid. It has a way of enhancing your social status. So it pays you in that social fulfillment. You want to buy a new dress, you want to look in a particular way, you want to change your wardrobe, it has a way of socially enhancing you. And so that's another beautiful way that work pays. Work also pays you in emotional and psychological currency. You don't know, you complain that you, you are stressed going to work. But wait until you are sad suddenly and you have to stay at home for one week, just looking at the ceiling, not knowing where to go. Boredom will set in. That person will get sick without any diagnosis. So what am I saying? Work is a boredom arrestor. It busts boredom. You will always find people. Nobody works in a workplace on alone. <laughs> at best, you have one or two people with you. And so emotional and psychological currency is another currency that work pays you in. It helps you to arrest boredom. It gives you a family and a community outside your actual family. And then it makes you happy. So I've shared with you intellectual currency, I've shared with you emotional and psychological currency, I've shared with you social currency, 
and I've reminded you of the so many economic or financial currency that work pays you in. So in all, my intention is for you to be so aware of the availability of this that you don't t just pick one and let others go. Ensure that you keep enjoying your job. Now, what have I been concerned about work and job and the rest of them? Because work success hinges so much on attitude. And I talk about attitude as part of your, of your character. So then, thank you for being a part of it today. It's always value addition as far as I'm concerned every time that we meet. I promise to always keep you abreast of any program that I'm hosting that could be an additional blessing to you in this way but trust me to always come in here and do this with you you can also join me on radio at on saturday on inspiration on 92.3 fm on saturdays 3 30 it's just a 30 minutes show so if you if you tune on your radio at four i'm out of there all right but it's all about adding value to you never forget please click or hit the subscribe button below here like share Correct. And I'll be here again, God willing, next week. Bye for now.